Ruben Grind. Hello and welcome to episode three of the Wham Bam. <gasps> Wham Bam! Bam! No, this is our weekly comedy podcast where each one of us brings some entertaining topic to talk about. I'm one of your hosts, Braden Curtis, and to my right, we have the beautiful Matt Sagisi. Hello, ladies. And to his right, we have the dandy Andy Cheadle. Hola. If you would like to watch us in video form, subscribe to us at, YouTube, at youtube.com slash dash tag. Words are hard. Where we will post each individual topic. For your viewing pleasure. If you don't want to see our beautiful faces, you can subscribe to us on podcast sites such as iTunes and SoundCloud. Yeah, where you can I... download the MP3 and listen to our beautiful faces. Yeah, precisely. Listen, like listen to our beautiful faces. Yeah, it dude. works. I guess yeah. so. That's what happens. That's all yeah, you we, can do with faces, yeah, we, mostly. We... At least in that form. You can punch them. Dude. <laughs> Come on, man. Well, I guess not beautiful faces. Yeah, is, you wouldn't want to do that to This is supposed to be like a fun time, dude. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Now I've got to wear. <laughs> Fuck it, just go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you want to start us off this week, Matt? Oh yeah. Okay. So, so my first thing is a little anecdote that literally just happened. So, we're recording this at like three. We were supposed to record at one. Half of that is my fault. Other half is because uh, someone left. But the first half, right? So here's what happened. I was getting me. I was getting some pizza, right? And I was hanging out, just minding my own business because I was hungry and needed some lunch. When all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I saw a mugging happen, right? I'm sitting there. I'm eating my pizza. And these, these three street ruffians, they cost this poor little old woman with her purse and puppy. No. I'm sitting there like, I must do something. So I stand affirmatively and I shout, unhand her, you. And they turn and they brandish their knives and baseball bats and they say, you ain't taking us alive, man. You better step back if this old lady gets some. And I say to you, listen, you have no quarrel now. We can stop this, and we can proceed with our lives. Just leave her be, man. And they say, listen, we got to have word you won't follow us. And I'm like, listen, if you put her down and do not harm her, I promise I will not pursue you with the fiery vengeance only slated by revenge, and we will continue our lives as normal. And they say to me, take your car keys. Throw them in your car and lock your car so we know that you cannot follow us. And so I complied. And they left. The old lady was just fine. And there I was, my keys in my car and no way to access them. In, in the parking lot of the CVS. That all happened today? <laughs> yes. I got a confession to make. <laughs> None of those things actually happened besides the last part. And I locked my keys in my car. Oh, I thought you meant the old lady was okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so she's not okay. Oh, no, oh. the puppy. <laughs> no, if there was oh. an old lady there, she's fine. I'm just stupid and locked my keys in my car. <laughs> the old lady your locked sub. your keys in your car? No, listen to this. <laughs> that would be awesome. Follow the bouncing <laughs> ball here. I locked my keys in my car. She was the mugger all along. <laughs> Twist. God. Oh. And my Shyamalan just rolled his eyes. No, he'd be proud of that one. Yeah, I hope so. M. Night Shyamalan, you're listening. Hey, but who, who did The Twilight Zone? Not him. Uh, definitely not. It's mm. a very uh, old show. Yeah. yeah. yeah that right. was, I, guess, I think it was before he was born. I'm pretty so. sure All right. I'm pretty, pretty sure The Twilight Zone was just composed of space and antimatter. But and gerbils. And that blinking eye and like the Barbie doll. <laughs> <laughs> there was that cool door that opens up. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, so yeah, I just freaking locked my keys in my car, and I was standing there outside my truck like an asshole. Like, uh, well, and there's plenty of people that saw this happen. Like, I was right outside the Yoga Creations, mm, nice. and like there was this this couple that was like sitting on the on the a bench outside there eating their ice cream, and I walk up with my pizza and drink, and I put it on top of my car, and I look inside and I see my keys on the seat, and I kind of just do the kind of droop a little bit. And I look to my left and I'm like, they see me. And I can tell they're kind of choking back laughter. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like it's fine. You can laugh. <laughs> and, they, and they're like, you lock your keys in your car, man? And I'm like, 
yeah. And like, oh, it sucks. <laughs> I'm like, thank you. <laughs> 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 Thanks for that. And so I called Andy over here, and he brought me my hide key, which, again, should have been in the car or on the car, but it wasn't because I'd already used it once this year and didn't put it back. But you're good now. I'm good now, but I'm I'm telling this because I just need to come clean. I am terrible when it comes to cars. <laughs> like I, that's not the first time I've locked my keys in my car. I do that quite often. Um, I think. All right, just as a curiosity, how many times have you, have you personally run out of gas while you've been zero? zero. Never. Yeah. Yeah. See, three times. <laughs> how? <laughs> three times for me. Because I just freaking don't pay attention. <laughs> But like, it blinks and like screams at you. Mine doesn't. Mine. Every every time it gets like into that red zone, it's like, <laughs> like fill up, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, my car doesn't because it's from like I don't even know how old. My, see, I don't even know how, my, how old my car is, but it's just I don't have that, and so it just slowly sips away at my gas until it's like, yeah, you you out now, man. You done fucked up. And it, the, oh, no. it's not like the it's not like the sun from like Rick and Morty, where it's like it just comes up over the horizon of like the <laughs> dashboard, like Whoa! <laughs> and it's like, dude, you need gas. <laughs> no, happen. it doesn't do that. My my car is car like be too old. a seedy, spiteful like ex girlfriend who's just like, yeah, I'm not fucking telling him his his shirts are here. I'm keeping these. <laughs> but so the first I ran out of gas the first time, like back when I kind of first got my license, which. I'll argue is a little bit more understandable because I'm newer to yeah, driving you done this and things like that. But I was like, I was driving and I was going onto the freeway, and right as I got to the freeway, it just <laughs> boom, the car just dies. Right, like the gas pedal goes like <laughs> stiff, and I can't push it, and I can't turn the steering wheel anymore. I'm like, ah, oh, well, damn. All right, so I kind of pull over, and at this point, I turn the car off. My 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 mind doesn't go to oh, you must be out of gas. I'm like. There must be something wrong with the battery. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be it, right? That's the most reasonable explanation I can think of. And so I call my dad, and I'm like, Dad, I think my like car battery died. And I'm like, he's like, oh, did you like leave a light on? And I'm like, no, I was driving like onto the freeway, and the car just died. And he's like, are you sure it was the battery? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, what else could it be? <laughs> He's like, I think you're out of gas. And I'm like, really? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. I, uh, this is kind of embarrassing for me. But I, I have no idea why. My I mean, I don't know. Like, that happened to my bug. When the battery would die, like, the whole car would shut off. Yeah. So I'd just be, like, driving fine, and it's like, eh, you're done. <laughs> we're, we're stopping here. <laughs> no, like, I, I understand that. Like, I know that's what happens when your battery, or your, see, I'm still saying battery. <laughs> no, that was what happened when the battery dies. Oh really? Yeah, for my car at least. Oh, yeah. And cool. But he's but he's kind of a, a freak of nature. He's all messed up. Now. And then his car rolled onto its back and like its legs curled in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dude, it's so convoluted to get it started now. Something is wrong with like the gear switch, so so it doesn't move if the car is on at all. So like it's stuck in park. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, the only way to get the gear to move is by jamming on the brake five times while the car's off, and then turning it on on the fifth one. Jesus. And then when you turn the car off again, you can move the, the brakes. But once you turn the car on, it's locked at that gear. But you can't start and drive. But I found a way where if you, if you stick it in the middle of neutral and drive, it tricks the car into thinking it's in neutral. So you start the car and you tap it into drive and you can go. This is an abusive relationship. Yeah. How did you learn those series of steps to make it do that? I was angrily screaming for like 20 minutes in the car, just slamming everything. It's got to beat your car into submission <laughs> until it does what it wants. But, no, I just mean, like, okay, so I managed to have enough gas in the car to get to a gas station at that point. The second time was down here, and I was going to school, and I was totally fine. And then I, I make, like, I turn right, and I push the gas a little bit, and it, like, it kind of sticks a little bit. Like, it doesn't immediately go, and I'm like, that's kind of weird. I remember what happens <laughs> next. <laughs> and so, sure enough... Look at the gas thing, and it's like past the E, and it's I'm like, like cartoon all droopy. And <laughs> <laughs> exactly, and I'm like, ah, oh, shit. Okay, but I'm like maybe a mile or two from a gas station, and I'm like, please, please, baby, get me there. I, I'll I'll do anything you want. I'll be so good to you. I'll get you premium, <laughs> whatever you want. Just get me to the gas station, please. And so I'm going along. I'm like 
SpongeBob big toe on the pedal, right? Like I'm just coasting. I'm barely giving it anything. And I get to the intersection, the four-way intersection to turn left. And then just over a little bridge is a gas station, right? And it dies mid intersection left turn. And it's not, a, it's, and it's not one of those, the light is green for me. It's one of those yield for oncoming traffic oh, greens. No. And there is in fact oncoming traffic. <laughs> So I'm like, Duh, Jesus. So I'm like, trying, I'm wrenching this wheel as hard as I possibly can. And it's like, it's rolling, but barely. Like the breeze is what's making, making me move. And so I managed to pull it off, right? And I'm, I, I veer off into this school and I park in a red zone. And I kind of kick it off there and I'm like, okay, what are my options? I can walk to the gas station, which is like half a mile and get like those tanks of gas and bring it back. Or... Buy a new car. <laughs> <laughs> Probably at this point, because I've just wrecked the engine so hard from running out of gas. But I'm like, I can maybe this. I have enough fumes in there to get me to where I need to be. So I'm like, I'll wager the fumes. So I turn it back on and it turns over and I, it's it's working all right. And I turn out and I'm driving towards the gas station. And the legal thing would have been to go to the four way intersection, make the U turn. And then go into the gas station. I don't have that kind of time right now. <laughs> so I'm like, uh, good luck, everybody else. So I just turn it again into oncoming traffic. <laughs> <laughs> like, me, 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 me. Cars are honking. Like, fuck you. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I need this. And so I managed to into the shell station. And it dies right at the Ooh. pump. And I'm like, oh. okay. And I fill up. It's a 24-gallon tank. I think I put... 23.8 like eight gallons in. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I was empty. Third time. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Forgot it's not over yet. Exactly. <laughs> Run out of gas once, shame on me. Run out of gas three times, just fucking still shame on me. But someone else has got to be blamed for that a, one. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, it's it, it just an exponential growth on the shame I should be feeling. But, so I'm... Again, leaving school, but this is the time like I knew that I was low on gas, right? And I'm like, all right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to school because I can get there in time, and then I'm going to go get gas afterwards, and then I'm going to do something else. I forget to get gas in all of that, and my day is over, and I have to go home, and I'm like, I look at the, back, the gas thing, and I'm like, God, am I going to make I don't think I'm going to make it. Oh, this gets even better. I forgot the punchline to this joke. I left my wallet at home. <laughs> Wait, I think I'm involved you, in this. Yeah, you yes, were involved. I am involved in this story. Andrew was All involved right. in this one. So I pull up to the gas station and I'm like, you know, where's my wallet at? Not here. And I'm like, Phew. so I pull into a parking lot and I'm like, I'm weighing my options right now. I'm like, all right. <laughs> if I have enough gas to get home. Do I want to take the back roads, which will take probably a little bit longer, or the freeway, which will get me there quicker, but it's the freeway. And if you lose gas on the freeway, yeah. obviously I'm like, all right, I'm going to take the back roads because that's the not, that's the lesser of two evils. But just in case, I'm, I'm debating like, do I call Andy? And be like, yo, can you please bring me my wallet? And I'm like, I don't want to make him drive. Because he's home. He's done with his day. I don't want to make him drive all the way back to school. Because I'm like, I'm like, it's my fault. And I'm like, uh, all right, you know what? I'm just going gonna, gonna to risk it. I'm going to go home. I'm just going to drive back. And I'm going to see if the stars are right. But I called him up to be like, yo, I might run out of gas. And you might need to help me at some point. <laughs> but I just, I'm driving along. And again, just big toe. Like every, when I drop below like 20 miles an hour, I give it a little gas to get me back to like 25. And then I'm like, just going to coast there for a while. And I'm like, I have like flop sweat right now. Like my heart's pounding all quick. And I'm like, I deserve this. This is all, <laughs> I deserve all this feeling right now because I'm terrible. But luckily I managed to make it to the gas station. I don't know how, because like the first time, 24 gallon tank, I put in again, like, 23.4 gallons and i'm like it didn't even it didn't stall at all on the way back which was out, outstanding that was inconceivable how it didn't but the stars were right and i made it back good i'm glad yeah 
Bottom line is I'm just terrible with cars. <laughs> but uh, a friend of mine from back home, he had an even worse car that we affectionately called the Hawaiian girl <laughs> because it had like a, an old decal of like a Hawaiian hula dancer on the side of it. This thing looked like at any given moment it would explode and the tires <laughs> would shoot off in all four directions. And like it was – we loved that car. I had some good times in it. But like it was really small. And he's kind of tiny. He's shorter than me. So he like fits in it fine. But there was one time where I had to drive it, and I was I looked like the Grinch when he's on that little tiny car in <laughs> in the the movie. I looked like that in this car because it's like my I'm tall, so my knees are like by my ears, and I'm like I have like my hands over the knees on the wheel and trying to lean all four directions. <laughs> Schlunk. Exactly. But there was one time he was telling me the story of um he he was going on a, on a date with this girl, and he picks her up in this car, and to impress her. Exactly right. Uh, and he picks her up, and they're driving down the road, and like he, he says he looks out the window, uh, his driver's side window, and he sees his hubcap rolling <laughs> along the side of the car with them. <laughs> and so like, he drives a little bit faster than the hubcap, parks the car, gets out, and chases his hubcap <laughs> down the street, and grabs it and throws it in the back. He's like, okay, now the date can commence. <laughs> Now we can begin. Smooth. Yeah, that's Smooth. good. Yep. But so I'm gonna he, he demonstrated his like physical capabilities <laughs> to her too. Exactly. <laughs> his prowess as a, a, as a hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Chasing down the prey. <laughs> he provides. I'm also going to half blame you for me always running out of gas. Because you said to me one time, <laughs> nah, man, it's cool. Here's the general rule of thumb when you're, when you're low on gas. If, you're, if your arrow's on E, man, you got like 50 miles left. Which in, is- in my defense, I am almost positive I specified my vehicle. <laughs> I didn't say every vehicle. <laughs> is your needle just off or is your gas tank like huge? I don't know, but I'm cool with it. It's like the size of a pool. <laughs> it is a truck. That's what, the, that's what the bed is. Just a bed of gas. The car is a 90% gas tank. Oh, goodness. But yeah, but yeah, okay, yeah. You are not great with doing that kind of stuff to your vehicles. But then I feel like since we're talking about vehicles, I got to throw in Kyle. Okay, good. Into the mix. Hi, Kyle. Hi, Kyle. I think you made an appearance in one other episode, but you're not watching, so you don't care. Hey, Kyle. I don't know you. <laughs> How you doing? That's Braden. He's the one who said uh, something to you. Wow. That, that's, that sounds like something <laughs> wow. I would do. Yeah. Riveting. That's a riveting conversation. <laughs> All right. But once again, you're not watching, so it doesn't matter. Okay. So it was two weekends ago when his wife, Jesse, got into a car accident. Oh, that's right. It's a good story. It mm. was, <laughs> wasn't her fault. She was at an intersection in our hometown. And what was it with this one? It was uh, there was some... Some dude who was like late for work or something like that, and like ah, I forget exactly what the story was. Good luck, everybody else. Yeah, okay. He was like late. Matt for needed w- to get gas. So. <laughs> <laughs> late for work. I think they said he was like drinking coffee, or maybe I'm just making that up. I don't know. It was an but Irish anyway, coffee. Goes totally hits her I'm d- like head on, and apply directly to the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. This is not something I should be joking about. <laughs> Well, she's fine. Yeah, so. they're okay. Yeah. Hilarious. All right, continue. Yeah, okay. So they hit like head on, front bumper to bumper, boom. And from what they describe, his car, I think, was totaled. Her truck, I still have yet to look into it, but as far as I know, it was like a 50-50, but apparently it took it like a champ. <laughs> <laughs> Ping. <laughs> like her little, like her big Ford and this guy's a little car and just, so that's what happened in that. Um... A week later, the very next week, I think it was a week to the day. Uh, was Same minute and everything. <laughs> <laughs> different intersection, but only like half a mile off. Uh, Kyle, the husband, my buddy, is uh, driving her, I don't know, was it was like a rent-a-car? Or yeah. The car. The, re- the replacement car to replace the car they totaled. <laughs> like the company, some company, some car that they gave her so that she could still, you know, go to work and all that stuff. He is driving that and at an intersection gets T-boned. <laughs> God. And apparently this woman. Get a bike. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> no, because they won't survive that T-bone. <laughs> 
<laughs> this woman that hit him apparently was just under the assumption that the light was green. <laughs> So kept going, and my thought process It'll was... It'll be green eventually. <laughs> my thought process was, haven't they, like, scientifically tested these kind of things to where they make the lights on the the stoplight specifically different colors, noticeably dis- different, for just such an occasion? Yeah, So I'd, that I'd mix-up so. wouldn't happen? <laughs> but... Yeah, I have yet to talk to him since then to figure out what happened with that. But uh, red means kill. <laughs> essentially, I feel like it fit into this with just bad vehicle luck. Yeah, tell them not to drive anymore. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just run everywhere. Okay, I'm convinced that we need to go back to just horses. Let's let's get, take yeah. it back to wild wild west days. Let's all trade in our cars and our Fords. Let's all get ourselves a nice a nice stallion. Yeah, nice. But then you get like poop all over the streets. No, dude, you can get like, like forty miles per bale of hay. Poop all over your driveway. <laughs> yeah, you could still drive a Mustang. Yeah, hey, you're telling me right now, none of you guys would want to ride horses everywhere. No. No? Are you serious? Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you people? I've never to ride horses. done it. Yeah. What? Well, okay, then you said you don't know how awesome it is. Well, I never said I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, horses are. All right, like- so me and Andy are on board for. The D revolution. No, horses yeah, like are steed. stubborn too. They have, they have like personalities. So you could like have yeah, to, dude, you, you could be, be your best no, friend. You could be late to work and you'd be like, nah, I'm just not going today. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, but it could be like silver. I know, can you, could you imagine though? Like let's say that would that would save so much time. Let's say like you come out, you stumble out. It would out take of, so much longer to get anywhere. <laughs> yeah, because we, we would compensate. We'd make things open at 10 o'clock now instead of 8. Give you some hours to get to your job. Hmm. Nah, I think they should just move cities closer together. Exactly. Just take the cities in. <laughs> Boom. We can make. Basically, the point is we can make this work. Yes. We have the ability. We can adjust the like the faults in the earth and like have them all converge. And imagine they and horses are real yeah. things. They have a built-in GPS. They know how to get home. Can you come on stumbling out of a bar? These horses were the first Google cars. All right. You come out of. You come stumbling out of out of a bar and it's like twelve thirty. You've been drinking since one in the afternoon. You're like fucking cinnamon. Come here, boy. Come here, come here. And you climb all up on him, like and you smack him, like take me home. And he's like, God, this freaking guy. And he's like, <laughs> and he walks you home. Yeah, and if for whatever reason your horse is drunk, you could still Uber horse. Oh my god. <gasps> yeah, dude. I don't Uber know if that horse. means they just hold up, just put them all on one horse, or there's a really long horse. But chances are they probably use a carriage since that's. That's a to, sweet to, business to work. Idea. Yeah, dude, we'll call it Hoofer. <laughs> it this would be that's fantastic. We can work d- with that. D- trademark. We can d- work d- with d- that. That's Come us. on. Look, l- listen, people out there. I again, would do that. You do I, that? I, yeah, I wouldn't own a horse, but if I could just call one up and come pick me up. <laughs> oh, so you would just use the service, but yeah. not uh. Boom, exactly. See, that's for people that don't want to ride the horse themselves. Yeah, I just don't want to house a horse. Because they're like weird rich city folk. They never tamed no horse ranch. <laughs> Where would we put a horse? Parking like, structures. Yeah. The no. Stables. <laughs> We've known where to put horses for years, dude. This is yeah, not a new thing. We, we don't have the infrastructure anymore. We do this anymore. all the time. Horses. Can you imagine how bad that would smell? If you oh walk into a... You know how bad it smells now with cars? Yeah. We're yeah. polluting the ozone, at least with horse stink. It doesn't like... Then we, then we our... pollute it with methane and poop. <laughs> yeah, like that one. Remember that one place? Uh, like we were driving like toward Vegas or something, and where there's like hundreds of cows oh, at that yeah. one place, and it's just like you know, dude, don't roll down your window because you're gonna like regret it. And it's just like even then, like they, it seeps through the vents. Yeah. So, one guy lit up a cigarette and it ignited the whole state. <laughs> 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 yeah, dangerous. That, I do remember that actually, and I was, I was young enough. To where I didn't believe you or know what you were talking about when you yeah. mentioned that, so I was like, I shouldn't have said anything. You really shouldn't have. But I don't feel Again, like it's my. Fault. I don't feel like it's my <laughs> fault for saying not to do something and then you do it. Oh come on now! Everyone knows that if you tell someone not to do something, what do they instantly want to do? Yeah, wanting that thing. wanting to do, especially and if you're following like six. through with that. Espe- two different things. Yo, dude, if you're six years old or you look at any six year old and you're like, yo, dude, don't touch that. They look at you with these little shitty kid eyes and go, ah! and they just, they just touch it. They touch it so hard. And oh. you look at them and you're like, oh, uh, and those kids that like, they hear you, but then they just kind of look at you and like put their lip like in their mouth and just kind of, exactly. They're a stupid little kid grin. 
And then you just move closer to whatever it is and boop. <laughs> exactly. See? You can't blame me as a yeah. six-year-old. Kids are douchebags. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a that's a box quote for you. <laughs> that's a tag for this episode. Yeah, it's sad, Andy. You got to be more positive. Yeah. Got, got to have a better outlook on our future. Yeah. The children are our future, Andy. Exactly. <laughs> okay, did any of you guys ever get, like, spanked as a child? Yes. You guys yeah. you, you got spanked? You yeah. did? Both of you did? See, I didn't. I probably should have. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> That's why he never buys gas. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, we come full circle. <laughs> Woo! We figured out the problem. Hell yeah. We made it. We made it, guys. Uh, all right. Well. Yeah, it was good. I'm spent on that one. Yeah.